Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. What you see here is a IBM centrifugal motor clutch. Fits all the selectors, models 1, 2, and 3. And this particular selectric 3, the clutch has disintegrated. So we're going to make a video on how to replace it. It's pretty straightforward procedure but we're gonna do a few other things here too I noticed that need attention so if you look down in here let's see if we can you'll see the clutch half of it's right there the other half is missing because it's right here and then the other pieces that go with it and the shim bushing right there bushing shim and the washer. I found all the pieces. So now we're going to make it right. But what happens when that, that clutch disintegrates, it won't it won't let the motor start. It tries. Let's see, it won't. It won't. It won't go. Oh, got it to go. Look at that. Well, that's amazing. But it's got to be switched, so let's hop to it. See if we can get this done in a short amount of time. So first thing we're going to do is remove the belt out of the way here. Just take it off and it should slide off this pulley pretty good and then just move it out of the way. Like that. We can take the pulley off here too if we want right there. And you can see the shaft here has got some rust residue, so it needs to be cleaned. Same thing with the inside of this. We'll have to clean clean this part up, which we might as well do right now. So we're going to just put some lacquer thinner in here and ream this thing out. You'll see all that rusty type stuff. There's oil and rust and everything. That's, uh, that's probably good enough. Okay, so that's ready. There's one set of screws right there. And this clutch will come out of there. So there's your set of screws sitting there like that. So let me get that loose. Back it off a couple of turns here. When you get a brand new clutch, that it doesn't come with the screw. You have to take that one and put it in the new clutch. But this one is a clutch from another machine, and it is just mint, like new, no wobble. So we're going to use this clutch, even though it's used. It's as good as new, I guarantee it. Okay, so let's slide this off the shaft here. There's not much light down here, but let's see if I can get some more light. Okay, well, let's so slide this off the shaft. And now the trouble is, it's, it's hard to get it around this piece here. Sometimes you can just flex the motor like this and get it to get past that point. Oops. Accidentally turned the machine on. And let's see if I can get this. Okay, there it goes. If you have trouble, you, you'll have to unmount this motor and undo the mount. Here's the inside washer too. There's two washers. There's the inside washer, so. And here's the broken clutch. And it just oh, it's, it's, this one's got a lot of place. See it? That's what that's what starts the end end of life on these. So I guess it's seen better days. Let's clean these wash this washer up. We're gonna reuse this. I'll just wipe it off here. Okay, so that's ready. 
Okay, let's take a look in here. Well, why is the shaft is... Well, I tell you what. This is really dirty in here. I'm going to do a quick uh, quick wash of this with some lacquer thinner. Especially down here where the, the clutch and the belt debris is built up a little bit. When, I, when it's all wide open, I'm going to just clean this area up. Like that, and let's see. Get some hair in here. Rinse and repeat. treatment is some lightweight oil. That's my good stuff here that 401 by MG Company. It's great stuff. Sit. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and run the motor wipe that shaft down real good. Okay, looks good. Wipe off any excess stuff I see here. Everything's clear. Okay. Okay, looking good down here. It is dark down there, isn't it? There's a motor shaft. Okay, let's turn it off. And while the shaft is available, I'm going to lube this bearing with some red oil. Now, it's time we can put the, uh, the new clutch in there. It's even trickier getting this clutch past this, this gap right here. But it can be done without removing the motor. shot here. See if we can get this on without you gotta spread the uh, arms here. Well, I don't know if that's gonna go on. I swear I've gotten these on before that way. But it doesn't look like there's enough clearance. Well, let me try this one. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, it won't fit, um, we're going to have to loosen this back screw and remove this screw. So to do that, we have to take the roller out. I thought that was going to make it. And run the screwdriver down here. Move the carrier out of the way. Right down, and you'll be able to get to that back screw back here, which is right there. Right there. So, run the screwdriver down there. There's the back screw. It's pretty tight. Bigger screwdriver. Okay. 
Okay. So we just got to loosen that about three turns, maybe. And like I said, this screw has to come off all the way. It's got a nut on the bottom right there. Remove that. And I think we can just... pull this out and not let it come out of that last screw hole so just pull it out about a quarter inch right there and that's going to be enough to get this in here let's see if we can do that without breaking that that back uh, just all the way yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pull it pull it out the rest of the way here all the way to there. So it did come off that last back screw, which is a, a little tricky to get on, but outright yeah, just clutch it on much better. Much better now. Okay. So it's on. And uh, it does have a a spot on the motor shaft here. It's a flat spot right there. That's where the set screw goes. So that would line up with that. Let's go ahead and and just snug this up a little bit. Well, definitely gonna adjust it later. I just want it to stay in position. Okay, so that's it now. The tricky part is this screw in the back that we just hopped it off of back there, right there. Got to get this gold colored bracket back underneath that screw. And I'm going to have to out of the way and we're gonna that, that screw back there is also just like this one so it's got a nut on the bottom I'm gonna stick my finger in there and push this nut up so it it's up and then we're gonna slip that underneath the lock washer and the uh, screw head at the same time so I'm gonna lift this up find that nut and and get that screw lifted up and then I'm going to manipulate this under there, there we go so that's the back in the back I'm going to go ahead and put this front screw screw back in right here right there There's a, and that goes on the bottom of that lift this up and that on just like that. Since we uh, broke these adjustments we'll have to adjust them. Motor, motor belt. It's no big deal. Start it here. Come on buddy. What's your problem? that's back in place motor belt's back in place first thing to go back on is the uh, 
first washer. So that goes on. And manipulate it on. It's very tight. It goes up, up against the clutch all the way. And next thing is the pulley. Or the, yeah, I guess it's the motor pulley. That we need to put the bushing inside. So we have the one that came out of there. It still looks pretty good. So we're going to stick this in there. And a little bit of red oil in that. And that's going to go on the shaft. Just like that. And then when you get... Uh, motor pulley is not in far enough, so I'm going to adjust it and move it further. Further in like that. There we go. And then the pulley will slip on the shaft all the way. And just make sure that that shim is inside the make sure it stays in that pulley you can see it if it's protruding and it is a little bit but I'm gonna get it back in there with my fingernail okay we can go ahead and put on the belt next so we can do that and then you know, I'm going to move this clutch in a little further because it's got to have a, you know, big enough space for another washer and the clip. And there's barely a, barely a gap right there, so we want to give that a little more room to a grip so it moves this clutch in a little bit more. There we go, just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten up that clutch all the way. That's going to be a permanent spot. All right. Let's clean this washer off here. Yeah, just a plastic washer on. And lastly is the little clip. And if it's... Looks like it'll be all right. Got a special tool for that here. You know, it looks like it's looks like it's spread too much here. I'm gonna squeeze it. I'm gonna squeeze this together a little bit to a, There we go. So now it's a little tighter. I'll stick this in our tool. that clip back on just like that there we go okay she's up and running this is still loose here so we're just going to rough it up and uh, in fact I'm going to put the uh, put the hand crank tool in over here Run the turn the uh, belt, get everything stabilized under here. Okay, so now I'm going to just pull this pull this tight and tighten up this back screw to start with. So it's tight. Um, Let's just turn it on and see what happens. See if this feels about right. Type of letter. And I'm just going to stick my finger under here and do a little tension test. You know, that feels about right. I don't know what to tell you. It flexes a little bit. It can't be too tight. can't be too loose. I think that one's just right. And since it's just right, I'm going to drive the screwdriver down the center here and tighten up that back one by going down to the top here 
and then you gotta, the belt's kind of in the way, but you just kind of move it out of the way, get to that last adjustment, or that screw from the bracket, tight, tighten it up, check everything again. Looking good. Tighten this back one up. Okay, something I want to look at before I, because it looked like, it looked like a pulley was walking off the edge. Sometimes the belts have a tendency to scoot this way and knock the retainer clip and the washer off. And uh, I want to look at that closely and see see how that's looking. So let's see if we can get a camera angle in here. More than that light. I need light. Where is the light? Okay, so let's see. Looks alright. So sometimes that, that belt will walk that way. You'll see it. You'll see it moving. This looks good. So it's not running against that washer right there. Other, sometimes when it's not, it applies pressure that way. If that's the case, this whole motor would have to be, it's sitting like this, would have to be moved this way, just ever so slightly. That would cause the belt to run more toward the inside. But this all looks good. I think we have a successful motor clutch. Look at that thing go. That looks pretty cool. Huh. You know that looks so so neat with the light like that. Well, let's see how she works. Perfect. Nice uh, free spin there. See that? That's just perfect. Alright. This is phoenixtypewriter.com, and that was an IBM Electric 3 motor clutch replacement. Good day.